Hi, my name is Francisco Morales, and you are watching State of the Arts on KBBR TV. My name is Francisco Morales, and I was born in Bellflower, California in November of 1989. I am currently a senior in the BFA program at Oregon State for uh, Applied Visual Arts. My earliest memory with art had to be probably when I was around 6 to 10. I used to visit my uh, cousins in Mexico. and. Um, we would watch a bunch of Dragon Ball Z at the time, it was like really popular. And so we would just end up drawing um, like characters on like folders and pieces of paper. That's probably like the first time like I ever was like actually like drawing for fun or, or even like it was on the map for me I guess. Yeah. I come from a pretty traditional family. Um, so like they, they have like a kind of like a expectancy of like what your career choices are like they're pretty limited to like doctor lawyer police officer or like I don't know engineer or something so I got interested in art like I took like a studio art class in my senior year of high school and I like really really dug it and I ended up getting a scholarship and to like this summer program at Cal Arts, and so I went to Cal Arts for like I think it was just like a month, but like I stayed there and like I had a focus on uh, painting, and um, I met a bunch of friends that I still kind of keep in touch with um, from that program, and I just got really excited about like oh wow like this is a thing like there's a school for this um, I really like it. So I got back and I decided like to tell my mom like, oh yeah, well I think this is what I'm doing. And so there was kind of like, there's a lot of resistance because like they don't understand how somebody could like draw pictures and then, or paint pictures and then like make a living out of it. Like it's like so, some a concept that's so foreign. I'd say that the, even though I'd say that like my family is very traditional, like they're probably like my biggest supporters as well. Even though if they don't necessarily agree with it, like they can see like the conviction and the drive that I have to do this. They're definitely like supportive and, and specifically like my mom, like she's always told me to just like whatever I do, like be the best at it. It's it's been like a like a series of like just being blessed to like meet these people who have like supported me um, like from my fiance to like teachers to friends one of my best friends Eric he's a graphic designer and so he went to school and like we were both kind of like running alongside each other like oh yeah like we're gonna go into like the creative arts field and um, I also have friends that are musicians so I know that there's like like seeing them succeed has also been a drive for me and like staying in contact and, and having these conversations and like even now like like you know my roommates and like professors and people in the program everybody's always like been just kind of like supportive and I don't think I could have gotten here to this point without all of the people that have been involved that have like either like contributed a word or like or whatever. I wouldn't say that I have a favorite medium. I think I have as like a strong belief that like, you know, the the method and, and, and the medium should reinforce what you're trying to say. Um, so sometimes that looks like a painting that's like nine feet wide by like six feet tall, or it looks like a nine foot like stuffed purple cactus, or it looks like, you know, like a, like an animation that's looping, so um, it just kind of since since the work that I'm that I'm dealing with is 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 pretty personal and 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 narrative. I'm thinking like part of my thought process is like how am I going to tell this story, and how can I best tell this story or 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 convey this message? 
I think another key aspect of the work is also like the fact that I kind of like belong to these two worlds, you know, as obviously like Mexican, but then also as like an American citizen and like being like a first generation, like Mexican American or, or, or a Chicano and like, and so I like it's not just like about um, yeah, the, this this experience in Mexico because I, I couldn't necessarily I couldn't really like comment solely on you know the state of affairs in Mexico because I don't really know like a ton about it so it's 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 about me like belonging to these two worlds and like you know standing in the middle as like the bridge that exists you know between the both of these sides and so it's kind of about marrying these my influences like have changed as I've matured and and gained like a different understanding and like solved different problems like the more work I do um, so I mean when I first started off it was probably m like I was more inspired on like the aesthetic of things so like Salvador Dali's paintings like and like these surreal landscapes and like you know like these dream like Ex like you know he was talking about dreams and, and and like the subconscious and so like you know coming out of high school like and like starting off my like my early like art career um like yeah like Salvador Dali was like somebody I was always looking at you know and like trying to emulate and then I think now like actually going through like you know an academic art program and like really like sitting with artists and, and, and like with with books and, and, and these writings and, and you're you under, you're starting to dissect like why the work exists and why it was made and like how it communicates. So now I think that I'm like I'm like more excited about like artists like Jasper Johns who like takes um, like he did a lot of work where he took like he used targets, like like the visual representation of a target, and like he took it out of like the idea of it being a target, and, and then placed it in his artwork, and like him putting it in his artwork with like you know like these wax casts of faces and these different materials, like it converted that symbol of, of what we know to be a target into like a whole different like a whole different meaning. I'd say art is, I think it's just been a constant. I don't think it's been like my therapeutic like counselor or like really helped me through difficult situations. I think just the fact that it's been a constant, um, like that's where I find the comfort in it. I think it, it just comes naturally to me. Like there was a point where I was making music and I was not painting but making music was enough. Like the, the simple act of creating and like coming up with ideas is exciting. And, and, and it's like, and I just enjoy it. So like now I'm, you know, committed to pursuing art as a career. And so I find that just the simple act of making things is like therapeutic. But it's not like a conscious thing, like it's just, it just is. So, I mean, it's, it's a lot of hard work, but it doesn't feel like work. Like I'll go to the studio and work on these giant paintings or like on these sculptures and like, I don't think about anything else. I think as an artist, like, or as a creative individual, whatever you're doing, like, you know, you're dancing or you're, or you're playing music or, or you're painting or you're sculpting, I think ideally we want to believe that like, yeah, you know, like I want to make something that's going to like change somebody's life. Like how amazing would that be? But I think that that's like, that puts too much pressure on us as like artists and humans like to like undertake. And so I would love for people to like think about what I'm presenting them. And I'd love for them to sit there for an hour and like really like think about what's going on in the painting or in the sculpture. Why is this purple and why is it stuffed and why is it nine feet tall? But I mean, that's like that's like a lot of like responsibility for the viewer. 
So I think for me, like at the bare minimum, like if someone walks in and like their eyes light up or they laugh or or whatever, like anything for me, as long as they're reacting to it, um, is good enough. Because I think that it kind of, it'll start a conversation whether or not it's about the art or not. And hopefully, like, with, you know, the artist statement, like, if they at least take the time to read that and then look at the work, like, I think it, it gives them kind of, like, the keys to start, like, unlocking, like, why things are the way they are. But bottom line for me, it's like, if somebody just walks in and, like, like hugs the cactus or something like that's good enough for me um, or just laughs like walks in and like and even if they're laughing at it I think it's totally fine because at least they're reacting to it it's not like they just walk in and like they blink and they leave you know I'd rather them scoff or laugh or make fun of it or look over to their friend and say like oh look at this or whatever because at least I know that they're looking at it, right? And at least I know that they're interacting with it as opposed to like not caring and just like walking in and being like, oh, well, that was stupid, bye. So I currently have an exhibition uh, for the graduating seniors, which is a group show uh, on campus at Oregon State um, in the Fairbanks Gallery. Um, and that runs until the 12th of June, I think. So it's like right after commencement is over, the show goes down. Um, and then I have another show going up in downtown Corvallis at Artworks um, CEI Gallery um, that runs from June like 13th through July 16th, I think. And then um, then I have a show with the professor and some other um, graduating seniors uh, for the Portland Biennial in Roseburg at Umpqua Community College. And I think that'll be up for like two months, two, three months. Um, and then there's a, there's a work, there's like a piece that'll be in Portland uh, concurrently um, at uh, Disjecta. So those two things will be from like July to like the end of August. And then the last exhibition I have lined up for the summer is in August at the Art Center in Corvallis and that'll be from like August to September. My name is Francisco Morales, thank you for watching State of the Arts on KBBR TV.